Hey there, Marco Presbyterian Church. It's Chris coming to you again with some words of hope and encouragement today. Uh, for those that don't know me, I, I serve on the team uh, that helps bring you our our MarcoChurch.com website and a lot of the digital content that that you see um, these days. I also serve as a chaplain at the Arlington of Naples. And the other day, uh, someone had slipped a note under my door because we are, of course, practicing social distancing here as well. So, so they had slipped a note under my door and it had Proverbs 12, 25 written on it. And uh, that was it. So I don't know who it was, but I do know that it was, it was a godsend in many ways because I, like you, I'm sure like many other people all around the world are feeling some anxiety. And there's a lot of different reasons why we might be feeling that, but certainly COVID-19 these days is generating uh, much more anxiety in many of our hearts than we might uh, normally feel. Proverbs 12:25 says this, that anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. And I believe that the words coming from Pastor Scott, Pastor Steve, and the many others who are sharing these moments of hope, I believe that these words are words of life, words of encouragement, and words that indeed can make us glad. First Peter 5, 6 says this, that we should humble ourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. And I love that truth because it begins by saying that we must first humble ourselves. And I think that Peter understood that our natural tendency is to solve the problem on our own. If I know that's something that, that, that I'm guilty of. I, I want to, to find a problem and solve it. Uh, if I have a, an anxiety, if I have a doubt, if I have a concern, well, then I want to analyze that, find a solution and, 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 and make it work out. Peter begins the context of, of, his, of his teaching here of casting our cares on the Lord by saying we must first humble ourselves because I think that our human nature is to depend more on our strength than on the strength of the Lord. And Peter goes on to say that we can cast our anxieties on him. Why? Because he cares for us. He cares for you. He cares for you. And so in order to, to be able to lay our cares down, we must first be strong enough to, to humble ourselves. And so it indeed takes strength to lay down these burdens. So if you are burdened with anxiety today, whether it's COVID-19 or maybe concerns about your family, concerns about those that you can't be with as often these days, or whatever it may be, because when this passes, there'll always be opportunity for anxiety to weigh us down. But likewise, there is always the Word of God and His truth and that Word that makes us glad and that Word that says, lay your cares on me because I care for you, Jesus says. And He will take those. He will carry that burden for us if we're strong enough to lay it down. 